the one on the other side it was like this one where it broke above and when I tried to get grip on it it uh, it snapped ever so slightly but it was just above the block just outside here and I had to drill into it had to like hog it out to like get the threads out I get I don't know it must have seized itself in there somehow and she wasn't coming out so I've got multiple bolts to drill out on this engine I'm not thrilled about it but at the same time it's better than having to go under there and fix I'll show you the parrot pliers to get this one out I've got two sets both one by blue point one by snap-on and we'll see how it comes out it's pretty good they work really nice uh, this is the one the snap-on guy recommended to try out it's uh, it works all right you don't have to apply pressure to it and it'll just turn it nope it's uh, it's it's gonna snap it perfect because I use usually use these ones they work pretty good but I have a bad feeling about this too oh never mind Woo. garbage okay so next is to drill these out again hopefully it's better than the other side like I said I'm sure it will be Anytime you are working on an aluminum head, you run the risk of dealing with broken bolts. First things first, make sure the bolt is flat. If it is not flat, you may have to use a Dremel tool to make it flat. However, that is something to go over in another video. Next, use a center punch to help make sure that your drill bit lines up in the right place. And make sure when you start drilling that you hold the drill straight up and down and not on an angle. Trust me, it will make it harder. I'm using a left-handed drill bit in hopes to back out the broken bolt, but you can use a standard bit for this. Do not rush this part as small bits are brittle and will break if too much pressure is applied. If the drill bit does not bite, All right, let's go over to the drill doctor. Oh, this is a cool little tool. You will have to replace it or sharpen it before continuing. So we got through with the uh, really small drill bit. Now we're gonna try to up, whoa! Oh yes, okay. So we're gonna drive this in, drive that thing in there, and if it turns, oh yes. Oh no. There's something wrong with the threads here. Nope. Okay, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to back that out. I'm gonna to have to drill it down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to clean up these threads because drilling that out, it sent it all the way down there. Hopefully I can get it get it out. Right, let's... Come on, baby. Yes. 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 <laughs> Excellent. And that is how you extract a broken stud from a aluminum engine. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of South Down Garage. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in more content like this, check out this video. Until next time guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Take care and we'll see you next time on another episode of South Down Garage. Oh yeah, sorry I don't have any cliffhangers this time. We'll look forward to the next video!